Welcome everybody, Green Assassin here, and I have a new series for you guys. This is uh, the Direwolf 1.7 pack. Um, I've been doing a lot of testing and a lot of work for the last couple of weeks since it's been released to try and cut down on lag. My computer doesn't really like to handle this pack all that well, but I think I have come up with a solution for it. I have disabled the journey map and I am running the Opus map, map writer. I've installed Fastcraft and Optifine to try and help with the lag and it seems to have helped quite a bit. I've tried a few other things. I've tried MultiMC to launch this and see if that would help. It's, I don't know, seems a little bit laggy still when I played in Multi, so I just run it on the Feed the Beast launcher for now. We'll try it out. There's still a little bit of lag, but for the most part it seems to be stable enough for me to be able to play it now, so... We're going to try it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like I said, when I'm running around doing world gen and whatnot, it might still get a little bit of lag, but it's a lot better than it was. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get started off right away. I'm going to chop down a tree. Um, I'd like to try and find a village straight off the hop. I usually like starting in a village because then there's a supply of food and some other loots and whatnot. But we'll see how it goes. This was an apple tree, I probably shouldn't cut it down. Just give me a sec guys. I forgot to set up my headphones. So I can hear what's going on. Hopefully the sound of the game ain't overpowering my commentary. Actually, just in case, let's go into options. And I'll turn the master down to about 50. Just to make sure, and I'll check it after I record and see how it's working out. So, we got some wood. We got a little bit of food now. Seeing as how I cut down an apple tree, I get some apple saplings. But yeah, disabling the journey map seemed to really cut down on the leg quite a bit, so I'm just going to run the Opus map and see. The, I'm pretty sure it's called Map Writer. I just know it's part of the Opus mod, so yeah. I don't see anything all that interesting to start out with. Like I said, I'd like to find a village, but I also don't want to waste the first day walking around looking for a village. Yeah, like before I couldn't even move like this without it lagging. Like I said, I've been testing it for a couple weeks now. It's one of the reasons why there hasn't been many videos on my channel lately. Because I was really looking forward to playing this. I really like, well, I like the last Direwolf pack, it was pretty good, and because this one's one seven, there's a lot of new additions to it, it's got the AE2 in it, Um, it's got Batania in it, it's got Pneumatic Craft, Blood Magic, a lot of mods that I really want to play with. Thermal Expansion has updated theirs in the 1.7 mods, and I'd really like to learn how to play with those ones, get some automation, and of course it's got one of my favorite mods in it, Ender.io, 
which I've played a little bit with. I've added it to my crash landing pack. Um, Iskandar did add it, but he's got it disabled, and he says to use it at your own risk. And I haven't updated to the beta pack yet, just because I'm worried it's going to cause world problems. So I'm kind of waiting for the 1.1.3, I think it is, alpha version to come out or to see what he's doing with it because I know there's still a few fixes that he's got to do with it so I've added it to that my crash landing and I'm only running 1.1.2 in crash landing so yeah and I've been kind of playing around with ender io in that and I've played with it before um, not doing recording or anything, just playing Minecraft for myself. And really enjoyed it, and I've noticed with the 1.7 Ender IO, there's a lot, well, not a lot of changes, but I've seen some new stuff in it. And I'd really like to play with it and see what we can do. So I've kind of run around a little bit here. Don't really see a village anywhere on the map. Not a bad little spawn area. I might backtrack and maybe lots of planes. Maybe I'll start building here and get set up. Yeah, let's backtrack that way. I guess that would be this way. And we'll just set up a little hidey hole. I forgot to start my timer for this episode, so I don't even know how long I've been recording. We'll probably... I don't know. Get a little bit done. I'll build a little hidey hole. Maybe craft a couple things from Tinkers to get started. And... Call that an episode, probably. I basically want to do a bunch of mining but I don't want to bore you guys with the mining you guys probably don't really want to see that and yeah I really don't blame you <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna cut down another tree so I can get a couple saplings here When I am mining, if I come across anything interesting, I will start recording and put it into the next episode. If anything interesting happens or I find anything that's cool. I'm really excited that I finally got this to work without all the lag. I've been looking forward to playing this pack for a few months now since I heard about its release. So. That gave me another apple sapling. I could have swore I seen a normal sapling hit the ground. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're just going to come down here. I got a few cows around here, I noticed. I think I seen a chicken back that way. Oh, there's one. So that'll be good when we go to start farms. For now, I see a little pond over here. Oh, and there's a cave entrance right there. That's perfect. I can grow some farms. food here. Sorry if that's loud, you guys. Like I said, I'll check it in my recording. We 
got some wheat seeds. We got a little bit of lava right here. I don't know if I want to, like, kind of make my hidey hole right here. Hopefully I don't come across anything too horrible. Okay. Anyways, let's, um, get some of this stuff done. It's already night time. What should I do? I don't have torches. I don't have anything, really. So, first off, I'm going to make a crafting table. I'm going to turn that into a crafting station right away. I like the crafting stations better than the actual vanilla crafting tables. Huh. Let's just take some of this out. this off. I don't really want to lose it, but I also don't want to die because of it, like that. Whew. Wee's on fire. Let's eat some apples so I can regain health. Okay, so we'll set our crafting table right here for right now, I guess. And then... I'm going to turn some of these into planks. And then sticks. That didn't work. So I am going to make one basic wood pickaxe but this will probably be it for the most part on vanilla tools hopefully I don't get attacked from anything let me just check my video brightness yeah it's all the way up it just seems a little darker than normal back there so next, I'm going to take, I'm going to make some more sticks. Make about that many for now. Well, that'll only get me two patterns. Oh yeah, this isn't crash landing or Aguarian skies. I got to make them um, this way. Oh, that gets you like four per, so that's not so bad. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these one of these and that gets us the stencil table which gets us the second tinkers book I'm gonna take one of these and one of these which gets us the part builder and then I need one of these or four wooden planks get myself another crafting table with one of these gets me the tool station and we'll just put the stencil table there, the part builder there, and we'll put that one there. The stencil table, I am going to make one of these, which is the binding pattern. I'm going to make the pickaxe head pattern. Hopefully nothing sneaks up on me while I'm doing this. A little nervous. And then I am also going to grab a shovel head pattern. And an axe head pattern. Then we're going to go to the part builder and we're going to take this cobble that I got. We're going to grab an axe head. A uh, pickaxe head and a shovel head, and then the tool binding. I don't want made out of cobble, I'm just gonna make it out of wood. Uh, we'll grab our sticks, and then let's go over to the tool station. 
We'll throw this in here with this. And a stick. Gets us a pickaxe. Oh, I gotta change the pattern. Even though I don't really have to, I just... Easier that way. So now I got myself a shovel. And I I like to get the tinker's tools like right off the bat just because you can repair them instead of having to craft new ones. And it doesn't cost as much cobble to make them, which is a real bonus. So now that I got that, we're just going to grab a little bit more cobble here. It's probably more than enough. I'll probably just make a little room right here for myself to hide in and start. Just until we get some resources to be able to build a house. Or something to live in. Grab ourselves a furnace. We'll put that right here. How much wood do I got left? I got five pieces of wood left, so... Let's try and get some charcoal and get some torches up. While I'm waiting for that, I'll just mine some of this out so I get a little bit of a hiding spot. Or at least some cobble that I can build some walls. Oh, I'm using the wrong pickaxe. Get lost. I don't want that. Wonder why it was taking so long to mine blocks. So just for safety reasons, I am going to just kind of block this off so mobs can't get me from that side. We'll block this side off a little bit make sure they can't drop in on me oops oh that covered up my light source um, that'll be kind of a waste oh well four pieces is better than one So yeah, I'll probably do a bunch of mining off camera. Like I said, I'll have to get myself a little bit of iron so that I can get some good resources. And make myself an iron pickaxe for now. Oh, I guess I, when I said I won't be making any more vanilla tools, I'll be making one more, I guess. Um... But yeah, I think with that being done... I think I'll call this an episode. It's probably a little bit of a short episode. But like I said, there's not much to do on the first day besides mine and kind of get some farms ready to go. Get some food and growing some trees and whatnot. I'll plant these two apple seeds outside. Or saplings, not seeds. And then I'll have apples to eat at least. <clears throat> and I'll start growing some wheat. <clears throat> get all that stuff going and I might show some of it in the next episode I might not we'll see how it goes but anyways this has been the green assassin with direwolf's one or direwolf 20s 1.7 pack I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave me a like hit that subscribe button share it with your friends all that fun stuff and I will see you guys in the next one.